Hey everybody, Chris Bazzelli from Tri Health here to take you through another Stretch and Recovery Friday. For the last few weeks we've been utilizing different pieces of equipment, whether it's a chair or being solely on the floor. Today we're going to do a head to toe full body stretch starting on our feet and then working our way down to the mat. So we're ready? Let's go. Start with our feet together, back nice and straight. Take a deep breath in with our hands at our side and then slowly bring them above, so something like this. Exhale and bend down for those toes. Now we're not reaching here, we're just letting our hands hang naturally. Feeling a stretch in our low back, hips, hamstring. Just kind of letting everything get heavy. Slowly stand back up. Do it again. Hands at your side, deep breath in, arms up. Exhale, bend back down. A little bit further, but still not reaching, just hanging. Feet are flat. Feel that weight drive down through our heels, our toes. more time. Stand up nice and slow. Deep breath in, arms up. Exhale and bend back down, reaching for those toes. Now we can reach. You can grab an ankle, grab your shin, grab your toes, touch the floor, wherever you can reach. That's where I want you to grab. start up top. So let's start with our head, arms down to our side, hands on our hips, whatever's comfortable for you. But we're going to slowly start moving that head, tucking that chin down towards our chest, letting our head fall nice and far back, and just keep going around that circle. Slowly, feeling all the little kinks and cranks. One more time around. Good. Now let's reverse it. Back to the right, over to the left, and down. Last one. Up and around. Good. Now we're going to do a couple front to back, so tuck that chin. Lift it up, tuck that chin, lift it up. If you need a little bit more of a stretch coming forward, you can put your hands on the back of your head, kind of pull that head down a little bit closer to your chest. You should really feel a nice stretch in the back of your neck here. And same thing going back, push up on that chin. Big stretch. One more time each way, pull down. push up. Good. Shake it out. Now we can go on our shoulders. So right arm comes across the front of our body. Tuck that left arm underneath the right elbow. Pull it across to the front or midline of your body. And the key part here is our chin. I want you to tuck it over to the right. So we're pulling with our left arm, feeling a nice stretch on the outside of the shoulder while tucking our chin across. Big steady breaths. Try to continue to pull this arm through. Really feel that stretch. And release. 
release. Good. Other side, left arm out, bring it across the midline, grab with the right behind the elbow, tuck the left chin, and pull. Big steady breath. Job. Now we're going to do our chest. So what we're going to need is a fixed piece of equipment. I'm lucky enough to have a rack right here that probably won't move on me. So we want to find something like that. If you have a wall nearby, you can use a wall, door frame, chair, etc. But what we want to do is we want to grab something, put our arm right here perpendicular to the floor, or parallel to the floor, perpendicular to our body, and we're going to walk away from that arm turning our body, trying to open up the chest here, feeling a nice stretch in our shoulder and our chest. Switch sides. So I'm going to turn my back to you. So don't think I'm not watching. Grab that left arm on the wall or door frame, whatever you have, that fixed point. Open up those hips and chest. Feel a nice stretch there in your chest or shoulder or both. Okay, so now we're going to need another fixed object. This time we're going to want something like a chair or a couch, uh, table, something that's about waist to chest level and it's pretty heavy and it's not going to move on us. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our hands on the edge of it, walk our feet back a little bit so that we can get our back and hips kind of parallel to the floor. And once you kind of get a nice position here, I want you to let your head and chest dip down or hips fall back. Depending on how secure your object is, we're going to kind of lean back away from it. And what we're looking for is a stretch right in here, right in our lats, our upper back. We're trying to elongate that spine. You can play around with it by walking your feet forward or backwards, letting your chest get a little heavier, dipping down closer to the floor, coming up higher. We really just want to feel a big pull from our hips all the way up to our shoulders. To our legs. Using that same fixed point, we're going to bend our right knee, reach down for our left foot, pull it up, stretching those quads. So the goal here is to try to get that heel right up to our backside with our knee straight down. You can bend your right knee a little bit to get balance a little easier. And if you want, you can let that knee drift backwards, really feeling that stretch. Making sure though, our heel stays right on our backside. Good. 
Good, and release. Same thing to the other side. Bend the left knee, reach down, grab the right foot, pull that heel in nice and tight. Knee straight down to the floor. And let it drift back if you need to. We're gonna do one more stretch for our lower body before we work our way down to the mat. And all we're gonna do for that is widen our stance as wide as we can comfortably until we start feeling a little bit of a stretch here in our groin. We're gonna push our hips forward, feel a little stretch in here, as well as our low back, our core, and then exhale and bend down, hands to the floor. Try and tuck our chin in. Further back, you can crawl your fingertips behind your hips, the better. And then we're gonna slowly stack back up. Let's try that again. Hips forward, big stretch here. Exhale and bend down, crawling back. From this position, we're going to bend this right knee, straighten the left, lean over to that right side, feel a nice stretch up our left leg. You can rest your hands on the floor for balance. You can readjust as needed, but we want to try to keep this left foot over here flat and reach all the way over to the right. To the middle briefly. Now bend that left knee, straighten the right, feel a nice big stretch on that right side. Remember we're keeping that right foot nice and flat. To the middle, crawl those fingertips backwards one more time. And then slowly stand up nice and tall, bringing your feet together. Deep breath. Good job. Okay, now we're going to go down to the mat transition to some stretches on the floor. Some of these we've done before, some might be new. But we're going to start with our feet straight out in front of us, locked together, going after those hamstrings again here. So arms are out in front, take a deep breath in, exhale, reach for those toes. If you can grab your toes, great. If not, you can grab an ankle or a shin. And we're just trying to pull our chest down towards our knees. You feel a stretch both in your hamstrings or the back of your legs as well as your back too if you're really pulling. Good. Slowly release. 
We're going to tuck that right foot right inside our left thigh, trying to get this right knee close to the floor. I'll take our left hand, reaching for that left foot or shin. Little stretch here. Switch sides, right foot goes out, left foot gets tucked, right hand to the right foot, left knee down, grab and pull. Good, and release. Now, we're going to transition to bringing both feet together here in the middle, try to pull our heels as close as we can to the middle of our body, while at the same time trying to get these knees to go down towards the floor. So here we go, good old fashioned butterfly stretch. We're looking to open up that groin, stretch our hips a little bit. You can use those elbows to push down on those legs to get a deeper stretch, that's great. If not, just try to grab yourself and pull yourself in. Good, straighten those legs out, kind of catch your breath a little if you need it. Now we're gonna go to our hips. So we're gonna bend our knees on both legs, tucking our right foot back so that it's perpendicular to our body. Knee and toe is stacked. Left foot's gonna come across in front of us here. Again, perpendicular to our body. So we're kind of making a cross here. Then we're gonna lean forward, trying to get our upper body on top of this left knee. You should feel a nice stretch in your hip. Start with going forward. If you can't get all the way down, you can just use your hands to hold yourself up. If you want to feel a little bit of a different stretch, you can kind of come off here to the side. Target a little more of the hip and glute. And that's where I'm going to hang. Breathe and work through the stretch. You can get lower and lower. Feel that stretch a little deeper. Good, and release. Let's switch sides. So bend the right foot across in front, tuck the left foot and knee behind it, lean forward at first to start. And then slowly work your way out to the side if you'd like. If not, you can stay forward. This is where I'm going to be. Good job. So now we're going to flip over onto our stomach for our last couple. 
targeting our back, glutes, hamstrings maybe. We're gonna stretch those arms out in front as far as we can, crawling those fingertips forward, getting the tops of our feet on the floor. Big stretch here, chins down, forehead to the mat, and just focus on your breathing. We're just trying to lengthen everything out. All right, slide those hands underneath your chest. Elbows are tight and we're gonna press up on our upper body. Now the goal is to get all the way up, extending those arms while keeping our hips down to the mat so we feel a nice stretch in our upper back, lower back, and core. Now if you can't get all the way up, bent arm is okay, or even resting on those forearms. But our goal is to push down through that floor and to get up and feel that stretch in our back. So let's all start flat again. Here we go, I'm going all the way up. Letting those hips drop, shoulder blades get nice and loose. I'll come at it from an angle here so you can see too. We're starting flat, pressing up, leaving those hips down. Now if you get tired or anything, you can always go back down, shake it out, get right back up. And again, if you're tight, you can rest here. Stretching that upper back, a little bit of the lower. But I'm going to go back up for 10 more seconds. Good. All right. So now we're going to transition into the last stretch of today, which is hopefully your favorite, but it's definitely mine. Good old child's pose like we do in yoga. So all we're gonna do is hands forward, let the hips drop back on top of our heels. Arms, hands, forearms get heavy, push down through the floor. Feel a big stretch in our back, lats, shoulders. I'm gonna show you from another angle. Arms are out in front, hips drop back. Clear the knees if necessary to get way back on top of those heels and stretch. Turn to start. And with that, it's another 20 minutes or so of a stretch and recovery Friday. Nice and easy. That's the way it should be. Help us recover from a busy, hectic week. Hope you all enjoyed it. And are looking forward to enjoying your weekends here. Uh, any questions, comments, concerns, you can always email us at virtualwellness at trihub.com. Once again, I'm Chris. Thanks for joining me on this awesome Friday. Bye.